YouTube. I'm Brad, and you're watching Brad to the Boom. I'm with Sam. Top. And Shan. Hey. And today is a Wicked Wednesday video. It's our second one we've ever done. Um, after the first one, the first one we done, um, I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't seen it, but we basically, I, we, I made a video about just talking about what I did for a job and what I did for a living. Um, and I made money and all that great stuff. So today, uh, we're doing exactly the same because we were um, asked about it in the comments and stuff. What does Shan do during the day when she's trying to keep out of trouble? Um, <laughs> and besides looking after you. Yeah, besides before, before looking after me and our three children. Um, um, two dogs, one of them which is the size course. of a human. <laughs> um, yeah, so when she's not doing that stuff, what does she do to make some pennies? And uh, this is what she does. Um, do you want to tell or do you want me to tell I thought we were just going to head over. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Yeah? No, let's, let's talk about the talk about first and we'll show after. Okay. Well, it'll be a show and tell, so we'll show <laughs> some stuff before we go. So, Shan and me, technically. Yeah? Shan does all the work, does everything, but I just own a little bit of it. So, Shan um, owns a candle company. Uh, would you call it a candle company? Would you call it that? No, because I do like bath bombs, I supply bath bombs and... She does all that other smelly lady, not just ladies, some guys like it as well, stuff, she does multiple, whole plethora of lady stuff. But I started by making yeah, my own candles. Yeah, so her main, her main business is candles. It is candles and wax melts. Yeah, and the important thing about the company and a big, not selling point, but your main thing is that stuff is recyclable, uh, good for like uh, better for your, what was it, what's the word environmentally friendly yeah, yeah. environmentally friendly eco friendly yeah vegan uh, vegan uh, products and environmentally friendly and all that stuff and obviously make everything as recyclable as possible obviously within the company and this is what's super important to Shan and her company ethos big word there kids <laughs> big word um, yeah so that's what Shan started with her main thing was candles and obviously she's branched out and done loads and loads of other stuff um, it's she, just as well I've done it really because I was made redundant as well wasn't I yeah so before this Shan was a waitress lady manager lady at a popular <laughs> big like American fast food chain restaurant is that what you call it not fast food no it's American, American restaurant, restaurant chain yeah. within England can we say the name? You like to say the name? Is that a thing or not? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Don't think Frankie and Benny's. So Frankie and Benny's, um, if you're in England, you would have heard of the chain. Shan was a waitress lady, manager lady over there. And she worked over there for donkey's years. How many years? 12 years. 12 years. Uh, and then when we had our third child, so Jackson. I was our, pregnant. Our youngest one. Yeah, she was pregnant. She was pregnant. She'd come to the realisation she couldn't really go back. With the pony and our other dog. And with now Jackson, it was a lot, do you know what I mean? So she wanted to make some of her own and start making her own company. And Shan was a big fan of... Uh, candles. Yeah, candles and that other, like... Smelly stuff. Smelly stuff and like it's homely fragrance. product products and that. She was a fan of that stuff. So she thought she'd give it a crack and do her own. And then ever since that point, she's been making her own candles. Uh, she's... So the company, we should call it... It's called Brooklyn Boutique. Cool little name. Um, it is named after our middle child. Um, so the other ones have got some sort of syndrome because they're getting all amped up about it because they're not <laughs> cool after it. But Brooklyn Boutique is the name of the company. Yeah, it's Brooklyn Boutique because I kind of liked Brooklyn Candles. Yeah. And then the Boutique, boutique bit come wrapped in. around because I wanted to do other things. So Brooklyn Boutique and it is, uh, you've been doing it for how many years? Two years. Two years. Two years you've been doing it for. And she's a limited company one. She's, she's um, got all that Just under stuff. two years. Yeah, she's under two years. Um, and yeah, you have really branched out and you've got loads of stuff in there going on. Yeah. Loads of stuff. Um, and obviously, so if you remember, 2019, did you start in your own COVID? Yeah. Um, the just very, before, just before. Yeah, just before COVID was a thing, Shan started it, then COVID hit. So we've all, okay. Shan's been limited to getting into other, um, places because so her main soul and revenue comes from um social medias social medias like instagram facebook and all that stuff and then also her website which daddy built so um <laughs> yeah we will leave all that links in the description down beneath for all shan stuff if you want to go check it out 
the social medias for her company, and then also, so you go on Instagram, look at all the cute pictures Shan takes, um, and then also you can go check out um, the website uh, for the business as well, and look at all the cool stuff on there. Um, a little, little secret. You, you met me in Frankie and Venice. Yeah. You put that in there. Yeah, we didn't even put that in there. But the company that Shan worked for, Frankie and Venice, that is actually where we met um, over eight years ago. We've been together for a long, long time. <laughs> but we're at jail, I'll be out by now. Um, so, so, yeah. Why? So, yeah, so we actually met in there, which is pretty sad that you've left, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit. But, yeah, anyway. New uh, beginnings and all that. New beginnings. Um, so, yeah, when you. We started, yeah. Yeah, so you started before the lockdown was a thing in like 2019. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might have actually been lockdown. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. I it know was, I was pregnant. You were. We were starting it. Yeah, Jack's we, not born until September. Yeah, we didn't have lockdown full stop. started in March. Jack, when Jack's was born, COVID wasn't even a thing yet. It was a few months later, wasn't it? A few months later after we had Jack's. Oh, so I did start it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we started yeah. it and we were producing like months before lockdown, and then obviously we had Jackson. Um, then we had we had Jackson and then Shan then really went into production and started going hardcore and serious with it all and then obviously COVID hit um, so we've been limited to getting into other stores and other salons not sure uh, what we want to do so I want to do go yeah. into more salons you're in um, a couple of places aren't you it'd be nice to have my own shop eventually or something it, like that yeah, but some sort of at retail the minute business. with it's, the children at the moment it's solely online yeah. John. and you have done like market um, like what are they called like um Stalls? Stalls, yeah, like farmers markets and stuff, and you? you've done a couple, haven't you? Yeah. But um, like I said, it's been limited because of lockdown. If you live in England, it's been a bloody nightmare. Everything's been shut, and obviously lots of businesses have been limited, so it's not been ideal. But your online stuff has been really well, hasn't it? You, yeah. you, obviously, everything's online now, so Instagram, Facebook, it all helps drive people to the website and check it out. So it has gone really well, and you've been doing it for a little, little bit now, and um, I've got a whole host of stuff. So, um, we will take you to the table. We've got a little bit more organisation than we would on a Wicked Wednesday, but um, we will take you to the table and show you what Shan's got. So let's have a look. So guys, here we go. So Shan's table, um, it's not as organised as what it normally would be because we're not filming. We haven't got the light in. So that's the first thing we apologise about because we haven't got the light in that we would do normally. Because it's a Wicked Wednesday video and it is unplanned and it was just off the cusp. So this and is the just are and the curtains are open, so you can see all the neighbours say hi. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, so this is some of the stuff that Shan does. Um, do you want to go through them, Shan? Should have a look? Yeah. Should, I'll come in closer and show. So this is the soy wax candles. So we didn't even mention large... that 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 is a thing. We did in the beginning. Yeah, so... we mentioned that you're vegan, but you didn't mention the soy wax. Well, this that's part of it. So this is part of it. it is soy do you want to quickly explain candles. what's the difference between what? No. No. no? No, so all you, all you need to know is soy wax is not often used in many candles that you buy off the shelf. Soy wax is a natural product and a natural form of of way of making wax. Um, and also um, most candles you buy off the shelf will burn um, and will leave toxins in the air and stuff like that. Even there's many big brands within the UK and within the States that are sold and that when you light them releases toxins in the air and not good stuff you want to breathe in for you and your family whereas soy wax um when lit um it's just a natural um and doesn't you don't get any of that uh nasty stuff that you would do from these like the mass produced ones you get um and they burn a lot slower yeah they burn a lot slower that is a big benefit to a soy wax candle they burn a lot so slower. it can be a little bit more expensive but it's more beneficial to your health and your money so which ones have we got? We've got fresh linen um, on the left. The two different sizes cherry. Shan does. Yeah. yeah, so large one and the medium size. We're eventually going to do a smaller one as well. But so far so good. Uh, black cherry, fresh linen and pomegranate and rhubarb, which smells amazing. That's a new one, right? Relatively new. It smells so good. They are proper so strong. So they're all scented candles as well. We didn't even mention that, did we? Yeah, so but the scents scented. again are, are vegan friendly. The fragrance oils used in them are vegan friendly. The colouring, again, is all vegan. I sourced oh, it all. See my shadow. Um, and then we got the melts. You even have a melt box, do you? Do you have any normal melts, do you do? No, you haven't got the hearts. You ain't got the boxes at the moment? No. So we do normally do normal, traditional heart melts. Um, we ain't got none here at the moment to show you, but they're in a heart shape. Um, wax melt that you would use on one of these. And this is a wax melt burner. So you put wax melts on the top. 
here, and then you light your tea light like that, drop it inside. Right. And the heat from that go for? goes up the glass. I can't use my finger. Goes up the glass, <laughs> heats the bottom of the glass, and then whatever wax you put in there melts. Your lady. Gonna get out, yeah, should I get one out? So this is what we call snap bar. So they look a bit like a chocolate bar. Show them. They look amazing. A bit like a chocolate bar. Um, you basically snap a little bit off, like we do chocolate, place it inside, and then eventually it will melt. Probably as we're going for the video, it will melt and. Uh, Start producing all that good smelling stuff. But yeah, these are snap bars. Um, and she does do traditional mm. heart shaped um, wax melts, but we have none on the table. And they normally come in a cute little box, same color as this paper, like a rustic kind of natural. natural yeah. Look, because we like the rustic stuff. Also, all my candles come with little hearts. This is. Just a little signature from us because I love hearts. Yeah, I've got hearts everywhere in the house. Um, Courage. It's a shame, really, because I can't show you with that out. See that broken blue cheeks, that bar, the shadow. Maybe that could be another video where I make it. Um, and then I also supply uh, soap what? sponges. So you're soap sponge. What, what are these about? So you can wash. Apparently, you can. It got up to four weeks worth of use. Um, you wash with it. Is a bit of an exfoliator. So this is like the rough side, isn't it? The bubbly side's like the rough side. Well, it's all quite hard and so it gets softer, obviously, in yeah, the shower. Yeah, when I've used one, the back side's normally a little bit softer because it's flat and this one's like yeah. 60 grit. It's got soap all in it, so obviously you leave it on the side until the next time then you've used yeah, it Yeah, don't again. submerge these bad boys. Just get them wet and then use it and then put it in a dry place or like the side of the bath or side of your shower so it doesn't... Um, Release all the soap, but the soap is impregnated within the soap within the sponge, and it does last ages. To be fair, um, we've got bath bombs. Got bath bombs. Ones. These are shaped and coloured ones uh, for. This is a bubble bar, so that's bubbles in the bath. You run it under the water, and it Which produces one? this one. As a bubble bar. Yeah, this one's a bubble bar. So that not a bath, a bath bomb. bomb. So you, all you do is run that one under the tap, or she'll run the bath. And it produces bath. bubbles, yeah. But you so don't need it all, just a bit. Just a dear bit. It's rhubarb and custard. It smells amazing also. And this is a bath oh, bomb. Mm. Yeah, Sam, Sam likes the, Sam's a fan of the baths. Mm -hmm. These ones are uh, coloured ones, and we find these great for the kids. Um, like I said, we've got three children. We find it great for the kids to uh, encourage them to bath, because as any of you guys with children will know, once they hit a certain age, baths... Aren't, uh, aren't as frequent and they're paying to get them in the bath and it's called the kids ones with the shapes they got this as a spaceship alien spaceship but we do have was it like unicorns and we? we've had unicorns and playstation controllers we've had all sorts of me yeah and then you've got our traditional bath bomb we sell loads of these ones they are quite popular come prepared bowl of water <sighs> does that have to be a hot water yeah. bath bomb, it? no it it'll go in any water but will it go better if it's hot water Generally, because you're bathing in it, you probably have a warm bath. Question I've got for the bath bomb. When I've used them, we got loads upstairs, as you can imagine. But when I've used them, I just put the whole bath bomb in the water yeah. and then leave it. But can you take the bath bomb out, dip it in, use a bit, and take it out? You could, but it's not really worth it. No? What's it, what scent is this one? Unicorn. Unicorn, so we've got loads of pretty. What's we'll we'll smell it before I put it in? It's like candy. Cotton candy. It's oh, quite nice, actually. Quite nice actually. Going in. Look at that, they flip and roll. Look at roll. Obviously, this is tiny, so it's going to over bubble. Oh, we didn't Jesus. think of that. Go mental, but look at the colours. It's going for sure. It's going for sure. But obviously, in your bath, it will. <laughs> in the bath, in it's quite cool. You get those streaks of different colours with the unicorn one. Well, that's actually pretty sick. Look at that. I've never actually seen one of these in action. Oh my god. That's sick. It's proper and multicoloured. This is going to overflow. Or these got like, they got the, you have done ones with the oils in them, don't you? With the oils? Don't you do them anymore? Did oil ones, didn't you, with like good? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you still do them? No. No? Only because I don't tend to make them anymore. I source them, don't I? Um, Brad, this was your bright idea with this. Yeah, I know, it's about to overflow, so we're about to have a malfunction live on camera. It's about to overflow. <laughs> but, <laughs> as you can see, they're yes. extremely, here we go. Here we it's go. It's going over. Oh, here it's we going go. Oh, here we go. Brad. It's the daddy man. Is it coming that side? Yeah, it's oh, looking I've great. I've got to it. This side looks even better. It's a science experiment. Oh, look at it. It's, it's a volcano. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Uh, this is what you call a trial and error sort of thing. Don't do this on camera ever again. 
Yeah, proper. <laughs> so as you can tell, they are bubbly and they are bath bomby and they are colory. And while well, that's going, we got this one melting. Yeah, see that? It's melting within the glass. This one's a look day of the dead style. Uh, real pretty, real nice. We've got loads of different ones in here. You saw. Loads going on. That smells so nice. I'll keep that. <laughs> This, this, is got bad. this has got bad, hasn't it? Yeah, it's gone south. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look south at it, proper overflowing. Sam, go and grab the cloth out in the kitchen, please, mate. Look at it, though. Look underneath. Look at the colour of the water. The, the lighting in there is so bad, but the blue is amazing. Look at that. Ooh. Imagine that. It looks like... Warm enough? Or... We need, like, we need, like, mm, a bath towel. <laughs> I'm drinking out sugar, right? Grab one more, Sam. In the drawer on the left-hand side of the sink. Um, anything else you want to say, Sam, about your company? Um, and how you make your dollars? Here's, well, this is here's the two. Look at the size of that boy. Look, what's he doing? And you've got dinky little Lexi over here. Tiny compared to Duke. Look at this. All went peaked home. All went wrong. But yeah, so the bath bombs, um, the snap bars, the normal um, melts, uh, wet wax melts, the bubble bars. Is there any other stuff you do, Sean? I can't remember. Uh, room sprays, shower room whips. Room sprays, shower whips. What's a shower whip? The Explain what a shower whip is. Oh, it's a multi-use thing. You can literally shower with that. So yeah. It comes in tubs. Um, you get a little bit out at a time. You only need a little bit, but you can wash your body with it. You can put it through your hair. I tend to shave with it. I think it's great. It's real soft, isn't it's it? It's really soft. It smells amazing as well. All the different Parma Violet smell. Oh, amazing. It's nice. All different scents. And you remember with that, a dab will do you, isn't it? Yeah, just a dab will dab do. Uh, a dab will dab do. do. But yeah, we've got loads going on. Um, and these smell great for your house and stuff like that. Um, this one's Golden Orchid that we've got in there. This is a nice, it's like the fabric. Um, Freshener, oh, fresh and clean scent. We got loads of loads of different designs. Yeah, loads. I could take some out, can I? Should I take some out or not? No, right. We can see. We can see with this okay. one. We've got different designs. There. This is um, this is a blue one with the top on it. Different colours. Blue. Opium. Oh, black opium. Black yeah. opium. We've got some that are modelled. Some of the candles and some of the melts and stuff like that are modelled after actual perfumes or men's aftershaves. This one's still going. Look at the deep blue. Inspired. There. Inspired. Yeah. yeah, modelled, I'd say. Yeah. It means the same sort of thing. So, like, they smell like the perfume, basically. Yeah, but there is no way inflicted with the perfume or the brand. Yeah, it's not actually used <laughs> by the perfume. The perfume's not actually we'll used for that. that. Yeah, we might get in trouble for that, but <laughs> it's not actually, we don't actually use the perfume or something like that. It just smells like it. Um, just like it. Yeah, they're good. It's a big house spot banging. Looks pretty cool. And again, all this glitter here, that's the eco friendly version of the glitter. Yeah, that are in these. Yeah, that's it. All you biodegradable. Friendly, biodegradable, all recyclable. Um, obviously, the jars, the glass are recyclable, the metals are recyclable. Obviously, there's only a couple of pieces um, that we use plastic on, but we've got no choice because they're obviously, if they get wet, then uh, paper is not going to cut it. But obviously, you can recycle your plastic bags and stuff like that, but that is literally the only bits we do use. Um, otherwise, everything is recyclable and environmentally friendly to save the turtles and stuff like that. Um, anything you want to add, Shan? Um, no. Before we shut her down. Should we go back to the sofa um, and we shut her down? Yeah. So we're back on the sofa. Um, Duke's sofa surfer, if anybody's wondered. <laughs> <laughs> Once Duke gets up, you've got to get off. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a little bit about what Shan does during the day. And how she keeps out of trouble. Um, Lexi's coming around, isn't it? Um, yeah, we appreciate it so much. Um, Sam's been along for a ride, been cameraman. I do camera a little bit. I think I've been cameraman before. It'd be pretty cool, to be fair. Um, but yeah, if you want to check out Shan's stuff and you want to show your support and take a look, please check out our website. The link will be downstairs. And the link for all our social media will be down there as well. And obviously, the link for all our social medias, Brad to the Bone stuff, will all be downstairs as well. Um, we've right. now got... Well, We've now got TikTok as well, so go check us out on TikTok. Um, if you like seeing me and Sam and hearing Sam, um, please subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified every time we upload. If you've got any videos, ideas, any video ideas for Wicked Wednesday or any for the normal 
uh, challenges we do. Please drop them down, downstairs in the comments. Otherwise, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace!